Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I will compare the Armatan Chameleon Ti to the Armatan Rooster in the black box viewer. For this comparison I have an Armatan Chameleon Ti with a Brother Hobby Returner R6 motors and an Armatan Rooster with a T-Motor F42 Pro. The Rooster was a Chameleon Ti before I have replaced the bottom plate against the bottom of the Armatan Rooster with the four individual arms. As you can see, the bottom of the Chameleon Ti seems to be more flexible than the bottom of the Rooster. But to get to the point, I have built two Armaton Chameleon TIs with a Helio RC spring flight controller, but I wasn't really satisfied with my quads at all because I always had some oscillations and vibrations in the HD footage. So I started with black box logging and tuning, but whatever I did I always had noise on the roll axis and I couldn't tune it out. I've tried hardware tuning like motor and FC soft mounting, different propellers and I also replaced the Returner R6 against the T-Motors and of course I have tried software tuning with different pit and filter values. I even tried some crazy high and low filters and pits but the vibrations didn't go away. So I got to the conclusion it must be the frame, some kind of frame resonances caused by the motors. And now I want to show you the differences. For this I have some black box logs of my Armaton Chameleon Ti with the Helio RC all-in-one flight controller before and after changing the bottom plate. So at first I'm going to open the black box log of the Chameleon Ti with Butterfly 3.6 with all settings on default. And here we have some mid throttle oscillations on roll as you can see on the red spiky lines. There are oscillations on the gyro on roll and those oscillations are causing the pits to act against those oscillations. The jaw and pitch axis looks very clean on the gyro, only roll seems to be very noisy. So let's go on with the log and there you always can see the vibrations and it's getting even worse. Wherever I click on the black box log, there are oscillations on roll. Now I will jump to the other flights in this log and you will see that there are the same vibrations on roll independent on different filter and pit values. And like I told you, I'm having this issue on both quads, so now I want to show you a log of my other Chameleon Ti with the Helio RC flight controller and the Brother Hobby Returner R6 motors. I'm just skipping to some mid throttle flight situations and you will see the same issue on roll. Now at last I'm going to open the log of the Armaton Rooster and please remember it's the same quad with Butterfly 3.6 with the default settings like shown in the first black box log. This only changed the chameleon bottom plate against the rooster bottom. As you can see here the issue on roll disappeared. All axes are looking very similar in the viewpoint of noise. Now I'm going through the log and I will show you some mid throttle situations. For better comparing the log, I will also open the first log with a chameleon bottom plate. So here we have some mid throttle situations with around 50% of throttle. It's looking much better on the rooster at all. And here are some other mid throttle situations.
and here we have a high throttle situation and it's looking better on the Rooster 2. Finally, I will compare and show you the gyro noise on each axis of the Chameleon and the Rooster. All in all, roll is pretty bad on the Chameleon TI frame. On the Rooster all axes are very similar in the viewpoint of noise, but the Chameleon seems to be a bit better on jaw and pitch. So what's my final conclusion? I think it's the resonance of the bottom plate of the Chameleon Ti that transmits the motor vibrations through the carbon of the bottom plate to the gyro on the flight controller. The stiffer bottom of the rooster seems to be less resonant. So I will stay with the rooster bottom and I will even change the bottom of my other Chameleon Ti against the rooster bottom plate with the four individual arms. I'm curious about your experiences with both frames, so tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.